everyone, Hedgedog here. Today I'm starting a brand new Kerbal Space Program series. I wanted to do Realism Overhaul, but the mods haven't caught up to 1.2 just yet, so we'll have to wait until they do, which will probably be in a couple months. That's what happened with 1.1. So until then, here we are. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the real SETI project, it's actually a number of endeavors over the course of the past century or so, and they scan the skies in search of signs of alien life, um, alien intelligence. This is mostly done by listening with radio telescopes for non-natural signals. If you want to read more about that, just go to Wikipedia. Uh, very interesting stuff. Now here in KSP we're going to be taking obviously a more proactive approach. We're not going to be sitting around waiting for faraway signals to reach us. We're going to go find them for ourselves hands-on. So. SETI is a collection of mods. They are mostly meant to be played in career mode, and that's exactly what we're going to do. For instructions on how to install the SETI bundle, just check the description below. And with all this in mind, it's time to go get the proof that we've been looking for. Okay, so what we're going to do is just start a brand new game. I'm going to name it... I have a few saved files, so let's do... Hedgedog SETI... YouTube. We'll choose my flag. Great. And let's go with some hard settings. I'm going to disable the comm network because I have remote tech enabled. I will allow reverting and quick loading. None of these things matter. Advanced global experience. Girls level up immediately. Pressure limits. Action groups don't really work. I've seen something is a little weird with them. Let's see, tech life support. I'm just gonna leave the default here. I don't think I'm gonna touch anything else. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the default settings for remote tech. Let's see if we have a preset for. Here we go. Uh, for SETI. Perfect. I don't think I need to touch anything here. Let's get started. Alright, tax settings have been set to default. And thank you, Gene. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Just very, very simple stuff. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so we've got different kinds of missions. And let's see what's going to be a really nice place to start. Maybe some experiments around KSC. Climate study equipment. I'm not really sure what I have in my tech tree right now. I think I have some wheels. So this might be pretty easy. Landed telemetry. You know what? Let's do this. Let's build a little car. Let's see if we can do this. Um, let's see if there's anything else that might be really easy here. Man record. Escaping the atmosphere. Nope, none of this stuff is going to happen with a car. What climate study? Splash down. Landed in the grasslands. Flying low. We're going to need a plane for this. Definitely going to need a plane for this, so that's not going to happen right now. Okay, let's start by building a little car. Thank you, Werner. Start with the probe. Notice that I don't have any capsules here, right? It's pretty cool. This is we're doing unmanned before manned. All right, I got my flag in the background. Okay, let's see what kind of thing we can put on this. We need some sort of, okay, I guess a battery would be good. I guess some sort of antenna is probably necessary. Sure. Science parts are always important. No. There. Okay. And apparently I don't have wheels. So not sure what I was thinking there. Uh, I think we're gonna need to take a different mission. Don't say. Okay, so let's launch something. Um, let's give an altitude record. 
escape the atmosphere is probably a little ambitious right now, but that's what we got. Let's see what we have here in the tech tree. Uh, I thought for sure we had some wheels. Nope, no wheels. Maybe over here? Yes. There we go. So I need four signs before I can do any wheels. And I need 12 before I get there's some more signs here and some very serious engines. Yeah, we can get very far with 12. Alright, so let's build our very first rocket. It's going to be pretty simple. We don't have very many options right now. Start with a probe stack. Super easy. Let's see what kind of engine we can put on it. This one looks good. Don't need any sort of adapters. Let's build a um, no. Put a nose cook. Put the fins. Let's add some fins to this thing. And they're huge. Let's scale them down. Maybe 75? 75. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's add a battery. Okay. Communication. Two for balance. And wait, does this thing already have a thermometer on it? Holy crap, wait a second. What you got here? It does! A thermometer and a telemetry report. Okay. That saves me sticking that thing on, so let's balance it on this side like this and alright let's call that the um, hedge sound nice because it's a sounding rocket got it it's sound one right that, that's that's easy super simple absolutely nothing else we can stick on this thing it's not gonna survive no parachutes let's let it fly see how it does Now I'm sure if you're not new to Kerbal Space Program, which you're probably not because it's been out for a long time, you know what's going to happen. It's going to fly straight up, it's going to go down, and it's going to be super boring. So, just going to speed this along quickly, get some science, and then no calm devices on this vessel. That's interesting. Okay, so I shut down remote tech. I've also tweaked the, the little antennas down a little bit. And let's see if this thing works now. It does. Great. Okay, so what happened was that there was something wrong with uh, my settings for remote tech. And it was kind of messing up with some other mod, I guess. This has actually happened to me before with, I think, uh, realism overhaul when some of the mods weren't exactly up to date and it got a little funky so what I've done for now is just disable remote tech completely and I'm gonna do this mission without remote tech now what I haven't realized is that I can actually just use uh, the curb net right they, they have the comm network now so for this mission it's going to be disabled but I will enable it starting with the next mission so let's just keep going exactly where I left off so let's put these aside real quick We'll be able to use them throughout the flight. Let's get no, it's fine. Let's get the temperature. Let's get the telemetry report. Let's get the pressure that I already got it. Okay, so let's let's fly. Temperature, telemetry, pressure, send, send, send. Making sure that it actually did send all of them. Great. Let's go high. Let's see if we can make it to the upper atmosphere. And get some more sciencey, sciencey goodness. We're gonna go up to 20, about 19 kilometers. It should be just enough for our mission. Alright, can we do it? Can we do it? Am I getting up there? Oh no! Oh, I hope I'm gonna make it. Hope I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be close.
No! You lied to me. You lied. Oh wait, no, it actually did work. What? That was very strange. Hmm. Okay. I guess I did have an altitude of 18 kilometers. Alright, so now we're just gonna speed this up. We're gonna just crash into the ground. There's nothing much to do here. I hope I don't break anything. And... Boom. And everything looks good. Okay, great. That was a success. Alright, so we got... Let's see. 18 kilometers. Perfect. Uh, uh, we had one experiment from KSC. It's from the launch pad. We have some milestones, which are just super, super boring. And... That's it. Let's see what else we got. There's something new here. Oh yes, part testing. Ooh. Okay, so that's going to give us lots of extra science. Yep. And also some money. We don't need it just yet. We have four signs, so I think what we're going to do right now is unlock this node, Engineering 101. It's going to give us a car, which I'm going to build right away. And we're going to do the KSC things. It's going to give us the submersible thing. Um, some more unmanned parts. Another experiment. Super good. Some more batteries. These are all mostly use 800. That's a funny number. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's go build a car. Okay, so now. We have these things. We're gonna need that. Just a second. Some sort of communication device. We can definitely make it a lot smaller. Great. Sciency parts. Put one over here, one over here, one. Not this one, this one over. No, not this one. What am I doing? There we go. They all weigh the same, so we should be good. It's just kind of... Okay, I think that's good enough. Now... Do I have any sort of <coughs> structural things? Just this one? It's gonna make for a funny car. Hmm. Funny car indeed, but I think... Yeah, that could work. Maybe I could just use a few more batteries. There we go. Put some wheels on this. <laughs> These wheels are huge! Seventy five is a good number. Okay. KSC Rover One. Let's go get some science. Okay, so this thing should have plenty of battery power to go anywhere we want. Might be a little crazy, but, you know, what else is new? Well, you know what? I actually don't need the, the thermometer. I have one in here. Right. Forgot about that. And barometer. 
Great, so let's get all the science and telemetry. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. And let's see what we're supposed to get. We're supposed to go to the astronaut complex, the mission control, and just KSC, launch pad, something. I'm not completely sure. Okay, let's just go. is the administration building whoa oh no I'm like I'm like a turtle on its back I think that's gonna end my trip real fast Let's see if I can somehow recover from this Do I have some sort of control anything nope okay let's recover the vessel and just start again that worked really well, except for that part where it flipped. Oh, no, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Whew. Lucky. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not lucky. Not lucky. Well. Okay, then. I guess. I guess I'm stuck. Can I get something? All right, that's the VAB. How much science do I have? Twelve! That's how much I need! Great, let's recover this vessel. Okay, and let's unlock basic rocketry. And we can also unlock structural parts that will make building cars a little easier. Some other things, I guess. Okay, so I want the boom. The hybrid rocket. Why not? Nose cones, almost good. Winglets, important. Reaction wheels, very important. Obviously, I want liquid fuel. I want the big fuel tank. Always go big. Stack separator, very important. And I think I, think I can make do with this for now. All right, so I'm going to end the first episode right here. Thank you so much for being with me. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll get a notification when the next one comes up. And next one, we're going to go to space. It's going to be lots of fun. I'll catch you in the next one.